mere playthings of women. Well, it's one of the things that uh, Mike Buchanan, the leader of the Justice for Men and Boys Party, has been campaigning against for many years. We've spoken to him on the show before. And it's just been announced that Mike Buchanan plans to stand against Theresa May at the next general election in her seat. One of the reasons he, he wants to stand is that during her six years as Home Secretary, when she was responsible, of course, for the police, she did nothing uh, to protect young boys from the illegal procedure of non-therapeutic circumcision. And she's doing nothing about it now. Uh, Mike Buchanan is uh, leading a protest in Birmingham outside the ICC, the convention centre, where uh, the Tories are holding their annual party conference. And we can talk to him uh, from that demonstration right now. Mike Buchanan, hello. Hello, Julian. Hello. Lovely to speak to you. Lovely again. to speak to you. Um, now, we've had a lot of talk about FGM, female genital mutilation, yes. uh, in recent years, and it's been outlawed for many years. We're still waiting for a successful prosecution, an absolutely horrific act uh, that is nothing short of child abuse. Whatever the cultural religious claims about it, it's simply child abuse, simple as that. But I haven't heard of MGM before. Tell me about it. Okay, MGM, male genital mutilation, or as uh, people more more traditionally called it male circumcision. It is unquestionably uh, illegal in the UK um, from at least the 1861 Offences Against the Person Act. Um, it would need a parliamentary override to be legal, and that doesn't exist. Um, well, hold so on a minute, but, but wait a minute. Millions of people will uh, will have their children circumcised, particularly I mean, people of the Jewish faith, people of the the Muslim faith. Uh, it is absolutely it, it is it is virtually required that your child is circumcised. But there are no legal or cultural requirements, sorry, there are no legal or cultural um, reasons for breaking the law. I mean, the, 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 the law of England and Wales is very, very clear on that. So, so all, you know, all these uh, genital mutilations that are carried out uh, every, every year in the UK um, of male minors um, are, are undoubtedly illegal. And we're here outside the conference centre at the ICC in Birmingham, and we've already handed out um, about, I think, about 1,500 leaflets We've engaged, there's about 10 or 12 of us and more arriving all the time. And, and, and we're engaging in plenty of conversations and people are just astonished to learn what is unquestionably true, that, that this practice is illegal. Um, your argument is that you know, this has been allowed for cultural religious reasons but, but, and, and people are turning but, but a blind eye to basically an act which is basically a physical assault, a sexual assault even, a physical assault on a young baby. It is, and there, there, there's, there's no, you know, when you actually look into it, you know, I don't want to get gynecological. Um, I suppose it's it, the opposite of gynecological, it, but we know what you mean, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, it, it just, it creates so much um, physical and psychological suffering. Um, we, we, we recently uh, held the second international conference on men's issues at Excel London, and we, and, and we had a man there from, uh, from California come over to speak about the global survey of circumcision harm. The, the, the amount of physical and psychological damage caused by this barbaric practice is, is, is truly appalling. Well, we know, I mean, it's not just uh, something that is practiced uh, in a particular phase. It's also widely practiced in America. Some 80 percent of, uh, of newborns in America, newborn males are, are circumcised. And the argument given is that they believe it's for it's good for medical reasons. And it cuts down uh, risks of some infections, some cancers. And I have to say, look, I'm with you. I, 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 I've, I've never been entirely convinced by this. I'm, I'm of the view that if the, if, if the human race would never have survived, if, if a foreskin was something that you know, was killing off baby boys or young men, at such a rate, um, I, 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 yeah. I, if I had a son, I can I can say absolutely categorically, my son would not be circumcised. I do consider it to be barbaric act, but it is one of the issues that that it's done um, with without for for non medical reasons, and the fact that I understand it's also done on a regular basis without any anaesthetic. Yes, it's normally done. I mean, certainly uh, in the Jewish faith, um, circumcisions um, are, are carried out eight days. And and uh, rarely, rarely with anaesthetic, because you know there, there, there's there's a natural reluctance to give anaesthetic to, to 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 babies. But, but but there is, I mean, it shows the extent to which males are treated as subhuman by by, by the state. That there is no registration of people who carry out these procedures. Uh, anyone anyone could you know, start up doing these, uh, you know, uh, uh, today. So I could um, I could say, and, oh uh, hi, I do male circumcision, and I can come and cut your yeah. baby's foreskin off, and that would be legal. Uh, uh, it would be t no, it wouldn't be legal, but it, it but but the police and and the CPS would would would, would turn a blind eye. That is remarkably worrying. Why do you think 
that this uh, that the MGM, as you call it, male genital mutilation, has not been given the profile of female genital mutilation. I mean, I, I, I would I mean, I would argue as much as I don't like circumcision. Again, I, I'm with you in the sense that I don't think there's any religious argument ever that trumps um, physical assault on a baby. Um, but I've got lots of very, very good friends who've been circumcised, who've circumcised their own babies. They consider it to be something that is medically good um, for, for cultural reasons. They, they, they want it and they consider it's almost their duty as a parent. And, and, and you could argue, you could say, well, you know, the, if that is their belief, then we have to argue with the beliefs rather than start imprisoning well, otherwise well, well-meaning no, no. parents. I, I, I don't think we need to argue with the beliefs. I mean, this is, this is Ill- illegal. And the Crown Prosecution Service and police should be bringing prosecutions. It, it really is as simple as that. And the idea of basically branding, um, you know, branding babies or, or, or boys with their religion. I mean, you know, really, this is 2016 and we're allowing people to hack away at babies' genitals in the name of religion. I mean, what kind of society are we? Um, I know that in some other countries, I believe in Germany, there has been a legal move and actually it's gone to their equivalent, I think, of the High Court in a bid from a group of people who claim, that a group of men who claim that they have been, as you say, uh, physically and psychologically damaged uh, by the yeah. removal of their foreskins. And they, 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 yeah. they believe that, they, you know, the, the, the pain and the, and the trauma of this event, uh, this their, their view, an assault has, has, has affected them. And they have tried to outlaw it in Germany. Um, or, or what yeah. moves are you, and I know it hasn't succeeded as yet, uh, what moves are you attempting in Britain to follow some sort of uh, legal challenge? Well, the, the, the problem with legal challenges is, is, is they cost a lot of money. Um, mm. And, um, you know, we, we, we'd, it, I mean, there's, there's, there's no doubt that if, if, if a barrister, you know, we have, we have a number of cases where, it, you know, there's no doubt that if a barrister took, you know, took, um, took them to court, that um, it would be revealed for the illegal practice that it is. And do- doctors... You know, because it's, it's it's very often doctors that do these things um, would 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 be in the dock for it. I mean, uh, I mean, quite apart from the medical stuff. I mean, there is no justification for 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 for, for MGM that that couldn't equally as well be applied to FGM. But nobody would do that. It's it's just that males are treated in the eyes of the state as subhuman. Subhuman, really. Most people, yes, well, most people would really argue that, that, you know, that, 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 that on the contrary, it's, you know, the reason why FGM exists was actually all about the fact that, you know, girls are, girls are, are simply, you know, they are owned by, effectively, they're owned by their fathers until they no. are effectively given, given as a gift to their husbands and that they have to be intact and, and they, and they, they no, are no, not no, expected. No, 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 let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish, Mike. Sorry. That they're not expected to have ever enjoy sex. It's something that a man gets to do to them rather than something they enjoy. And that's what FGM's about. But that's not the same yeah. argument about male. No, is it? no, but Julia, that analysis is completely wrong. FGM, wherever it is carried out, is carried out by women at the behest of women. The idea that it's done, you know, in men's interests is, is a no. It's so those women one, believe one it's the belief that those those girls or women will not be able to get married unless they are female circumcised in those communities. I mean, and because women have no value if they cannot marry, it's all it's all it's women doing it to other to girls at the behest of you know an expectation from no, men. It's, it's, it's not at the behest of men. Men, men, men you know wherever it, it, wherever FGM it, you know is carried out, men men oppose it. It's, it's just no, a feminist it's... myth. The, the, no, that's the, the that FGM. is simply no, that is simply not the case, Mike. In in, in the cases of of the the the, organi- the 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 communities that have been practicing, and again, it's not restricted to one religion. It's it's a, it's just a an ancient rite that a you know medieval uh, thing really uh, that's been going on. But it's not the same. I mean, look, I I don't like male cir- circumcision. I'm, I'm I'm absolutely horrified by female circumcision. But they are not in the same league together. Oh, what about the people who they, might be they, listening uh, to the? Oh, let me, again. Mike. You're going to have to learn to understand to wait to a question. What about about, what about the women who might be saying that you are trivialising FGM by making the same comparison? We're not, we're not saying anything about FGM. Uh, we, no, we, we, we'd like MGM to be, to be dealt with on its merits. And, and you know, you, to go back to the point, you know, you asked why it was that, um, you know, that the, the, there hasn't been the same attention. It's because, you know, feminists, uh, you know, in politics and, uh, and elsewhere are, are extremely influential and, you know, and, and men are treated as subhumans. I mean, just to give you a, one example, in the criminal justice system, um, if men were treated as leniently as women in sentencing terms, um, five out of six men in British prisons wouldn't be there. And on, on an almost daily basis, we report women doing the most appalling crimes with the most incredible um, you know, history of, 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 of offending, and they get, they get suspended sentences. 
I would agree with you on that. This is something that I have. Uh, I've thought very, very strongly about just the fact that, especially if a woman has a has a child, for some reason she shouldn't go to prison. But an awful lot of the men who go to prison have also got children, and we're basically saying that, that fathers don't matter. Um, how hopeful are you that you are going to bring about, as you say, not a change in the law, but a recognition, as you see it, uh, of the law as it currently stands in terms of treating male circumcision as an assault on child children? I, I think there's a historical, a historic inevitability about it, about it. To be quite frank, I mean, we, we, we sometimes have uh, Jewish people say to us, "This is, this is, you know, that, that we, we do circumcision because this is the, a commandment from God." Well, the same, the same holy books that, that they cite for that also, um, or, or, you know, also instruct followers to kill homosexuals, adulteresses, children who disobey their parents, um, and yet, you know, you know, they, they aren't, they aren't, you know, Jewish people in this country are not saying that they should be allowed to do that. On religious grounds, then why the hell are they permitted to 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 carry out these these mutilations of babies? Because it's, it's not just people of the Jewish faith; it's, it's it's Islam, and in fact, some Christian and some some Christian sects are also do the same. Uh, Mike Buchanan, absolutely fascinating to talk to. You. He's leader of the Justice for Men and Boys Party. He's paying to stand against Theresa May in her constituency whenever the next general election is held, uh, and in protest at the fact that he says she's done nothing to protect uh, young boys from the illegal procedure. He says of non therapeutic circumcision, circumcision for uh, religious or cultural cultural reasons is, he says, not shouldn't be made against the law, is already against the law, but no one is being prosecuted for it. Absolutely fascinating. Coming up, though, we're going to talk about uh, something very different, and that is the search for a cure for HIV. Uh, British scientists are said to be close to a breakthrough. We'll get an update on that after the travel. Talk radio.